Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games to talk game design. I almost said that wrong. <laughs> where, 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 where we talk design, play game. We've done that before. Where, where, where we design, talk, gameplay. But we're back with more of the Beginner's Guide. And I think we Ooh. have about three episodes left. I looked up how many chapters they are. I didn't spoil anything for myself. There are 17, so... 100. This one gets a bit goofy. Ooh. Why did you come here today? Was it to improve your life? Um... Was it to get a better job? Um... Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No. <laughs> you came here to become perfect. I don't think I want to be perfect. Ooh. This workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends, the people in your life, to look at you and think, Wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you think about that way in your own life? Who do you know so who is so well developed as a person that they make you feel disgusted with yourself, compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful? I intend to make you into that person. Perfection is within your grasp. And the question is not how do we do it, but how do we do it effortlessly? This is easy. It is so easy. It is so easy. Being perfect is effortless. Shifts. Oh, 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 um, uh, did you follow the dream? And you play as the teacher. Oh, not follow the dream, Suddenly, what? Suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, uh, and also you can move around the classroom now. Let me tell you, if it isn't effortless, that's not the right answer. If you are torturing yourself, oh, you can walk around, I think. If you are torturing oh. yourself trying to find the right solutions in your life, you're not doing it right. Doing so right. are the gray ones? <laughs> Ew, I'm developing a cyst. Gross. Seek out only one thing. That's the easiest, simplest path forward. <laughs> Jeez. There is no truth. There is no path. Do what is easiest. Do what is simplest. Feel what is true. Everyone run. Run! <laughs> no one. I felt pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person Perfection. is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. What a crazy, like, introspective look at yourself. Oh my, yeah. Stage. <laughs> This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this. And it's not like it's particularly complex. Wow. So I remember I found that a little and everything. strange at the time. Yeah, this takes me back. Yeah, about to say, me too. I, I miss working in the theater. Me too. Yeah, you especially. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at those lads. Oh, 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 oh. All right, the performance is beginning. Places, please. In this scene, you'll be playing as me. We are at a gathering of professionals. First, you'll start out leaning against this wall. Good, good. Stay right there. The woman across the room is in this chair. Is a professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to photograph. For to, fa fa <laughs> to photograph animals professionally. This is w your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something, to succeed. Go on, say something to her. <laughs> Where's the bathroom? Can we say that? <laughs> Dude, you're in control, man. What are you doing? You're deflecting. You're not saying what's actually on your mind. Stop dancing around it and have a conversation with this person. Do it again. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Throw off my hopes and dreams. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I said to tell her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, it was just that one moment, but I was confident. Maybe it's that you need a better feeling of setting. There are a lot of people around us. I'll give you some props to work with. These cones that, that bounce when you touch them will represent the people nearby. Ooh. Now talk to her again. <sighs> Happy. You must have worked really hard to get where you are. 
you're messing it all up again. You'll freak her out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. Do you not realize how important this was for me? I'll never get another opportunity like this again. Everything was writing on this. Hmm. I want to try something. Try stepping back from the stage. Okay. Is that light again? Yeah. Gonna just go on over here. No? More? Go into my happy place. Oh. Okay. Well. I guess you have to go down the long hallway. This is interesting. This is. It's like... Oh. Okay, yes. Now, this is working. This is what it was like. The theory premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety... That's perfect. Wonderful. This is really wonderful. ...having to chase success. The answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away, which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several mm. games ago... You're doing where great. ...where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. See, I almost... But what can you do? After this, Coda went off and took another five months oh. to make a new game. I almost feel like I got that opposite impression from it because it it shows such a Mobius tip to play this game properly. You must keep your eyes closed. Click to begin the game. Okay, well, before I, we do that, I'm going to finish my thought, but yeah. I almost took the opposite takeaway from that, that bit because it shows like... It definitely shows Coda retreating, but it shows it in such a, an exaggerated, like, negative perspective that it almost mocks the idea. Right, of, like... It's, it's like, so obviously a bad thing to do. Right, it's like, don't do this. I, yeah, it feels like to me it's saying, like, yeah, okay, good, perfect. It's like, no, that's not what you should do. Yeah, and, and very much, too, it seemed like the person that was telling you how to act was very much, like, that was Coda, like, imagining how things would go in real life compared to the actual execution of how things went yes, in real life. Yes, And because it didn't match... In internal Coda was like, no, you're doing it all wrong. This is not how we imagined it. Yes. That's, it's, it's interesting. interesting. I think you have to keep your eyes closed. Captain, what can we do? Help, I'm blocked. Okay, well. <laughs> Why did I go to the get can <laughs> And then the vision said I went black. <laughs> um, uh, please tell me how to solve this. Oh, jeez, what? That's a door? Is that the... That's not the lever door, is it? That is the lever door. But no lever... <laughs> What's going on? Oh, oh, I have to do something. You should oh, probably what? open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. <laughs> and there is a solution, by the way. Stop being honest. Oh. No, that isn't truthful. Okay, okay, alright, well. Well. <laughs> yeah, that's so terrifying, too. Although I like these guys, how it shows, like, blind. Right. Okay, let's talk to you again. Can you keep making this? Oh. Interesting. Yes, that's it. That's the truth. Um, like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, me? he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So where's that coming from? But then even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. 
Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. I mean, These games are going to yeah. get more desperate from here on out. Mm. After this game, it's almost six months wow. before he finishes something new. Yeah, I wonder if he's... It's taking him longer because he's just struggling to come up with ideas at that point. Yeah. Hello? Where am I? Hello? Oh. This is pretty, though. Alright. Hello, is anyone there? Oh. Is that a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I've talked to anyone. What's wrong? You look lost. Mm. When I try to create, I feel empty. Oh no! What's happened? Did something change? It was a machine that kept me going and it stopped. Oh, that's what you chose. I'm gonna choose that. I'm not really. Yeah, do you want to read the options? Oh, sure, sure, absolutely. Wait, you're looking for a machine? I think I know where it is. It isn't far. I don't know. So what? You have to make, you have to get into it. I need to see it to know why it stopped. Kind of like that one. Yeah. This is kind of cool, though. Yeah, right? I can take you to it, the but there's a problem. It's guarded by a difficult Coda puzzle. Talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, this one turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, oh, still, he keeps three. making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? Hmm. Because from my perspective at the time and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was oh, in no. his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. Now press the switch here. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't True. be the one yeah. writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. These are just words and some walls. Trust me, you'll see. You have to s say that your work is fun and easy. You have to say that development is simple and joyous and that you love it 100% of the time. Sure, making games is easy. Ah, that feels wonderful. <laughs> Why did the walls just crumble? So, I think there's someone crying in the background? Yeah. Just keep saying that creation is easy. It's easy, it never stops being easy. Yes, that's wonderful. Keep going. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like... Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated this is like good this, for us. I'm going to the vomit. thing for me. <laughs> Patience, you must trust me. I promise this will work. 
Please continue. Any sacrifices made for my work are worth it 100% of the time. Yes, no, no, more. No. Keep going. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just... I needed more than I had ever needed anything Prison. for this to stop. I'm the lamppost. <laughs> yeah, it's... it didn't stop. It is a little After messed up. This one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. Oh, man. Um, we should probably stop here, huh? We're a little over time. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's... It's interesting to me. Um, cause it's, it like, I can kind of relate in that, like I get really sucked into my projects beyond the point where they stop being enjoyable for the hopes that they'll pay off. Um, I think we all kind of feel that way. You know? y yeah. I, I think that's a very relatable thing, especially for people that, well, for everyone really, I think it, just about everyone has some kind of outlet, whether it be creative or, or something else. Uh, yeah. Um, and especially back in like. 2010, 2011, I feel like the indie scene was still still moderately fresh so that yeah. there still were a lot of expectations that, and, and that this is still a thing now where like people think that being a game developer is the most amazing thing ever and that it must be like a dream job and, and that it, it it's, it's easy, right? right. So this, this is interesting on a whole lot of levels because it's talking about like how he can't pull himself out of work but it also seems like it's fighting different expectations both that he has and that other people have about game development in general. And just, I don't know, that that was interesting. That had a lot of layers. And I liked the commentary from the narrator, too, because... Well, because he's so worried about... It, yeah, it, it shows Coda is suffering, but, like, can't stop working. And it's so interesting because we, as the outsiders, look at it and go, well, why doesn't he just stop? But it's, it's not that easy. Well, whenever you're inside of something, right? It's like you just got to keep going. And since Coda made this his outlet, it's like, what does he do if he doesn't do it? Yeah. It, it, what, that what could be just... That point? Yeah, it could be just as dangerous for him to s just stop. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a lot to digest, you know? It's a lot to just have to process. And even just, just playing this game, because I think everyone's gone through those kind of things. And it's, it's rough. It's rough mm -hmm. when you don't have someone else you can feel you can talk to about it mm -hmm. yeah that's that's interesting yeah. so question of the day um i guess the narrator kind of like makes it his his thoughts on it pretty clear and like what things in these games like what they represent um but I, I'd, I'd like to ask you guys like what do you think is happening in these games that kind of shows at least in this episode, um, the like, we start at such a high point. I think in the last episode the with last the cleaning episode, house, the cleaning house, and yeah. it kind of just degrades. So uh, that's my question to you guys: is what, what, it, how is this change being represented that the narrator hasn't yeah. exactly touched on? Yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please uh, hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, give us one of those too, and make sure to vote for the next game you want to see us play. Once we're done with a beginner's guide we're gonna need something new and whatever you choose will stay alive yeah and i think next episode is going to be the finale because this yeah, is chapter 15. 15 so we got a little chapters left. yeah so cool so we'll see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching everyone see you guys later